What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always. I hope you enjoy this little quality upgrade here. I think it looks much better than the old webcam setup. And I want to talk about the upcoming balance patch that will be released next week. As you can see, we have a tweet here from Michael Murray himself where he says, and I'm quoting, Next week, a a <laughs> next week a patch will be released containing some fixes and balance adjustments for a few characters. More detailed patch notes coming next week. And you probably can guess what this is all about. It might be because if you've watched the latest Tekken World Tour tournaments on Twitch, you'll most likely notice that pretty much half of the, the matchups involve Akuma in some form. It's either a mirror match or it's Akuma versus... Oh, a Tekken character! What's that? Someone's playing a Tekken character! <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, um, it's about time Akuma in Season 3 is too strong. And it's mostly about, I mean, it's always been kind of stupid, although we were very late to acknowledge that fact. The Pakistani community saw it straight away, international community not so much. But where he wasn't that problematic in season two, if you ask me, due to high execution and other characters being also very, very stupid, you know, like Geese, Kazumi, Devil Jin Jin. But all of those guys, all of those offenders, got nerfed. All of them. But Akuma got buffed. <laughs> so, so in season 3, immediately you have this, um, this little problem where Akuma is like undisputed number 1. And I think Dragunov is probably at number 2. But uh, yeah, uh, it, it's, it's not a good look for Tekken when, oh, it's the latest Tekken World Tour tournament. And oh, looks like half of the contestants are playing Akuma. Again, you know, it's been, it's been that way for a few days. Oh, uh, sorry, a few weeks. And uh, it even went so far, someone told me that they actually started banning people who were dropping Akuma memes in the Twitch chat of a Tekken channel. Uh, people saying Akuma is busted, yada yada. They're tired of hearing about it. And you know that they are going to nerf Akuma next week in the upcoming patch. Well, He's broken. Well, I mean, broken, broken. He's, he's overpowered. But Tekken World Tour Finals in Bangkok uh, on the 7th and 8th of December, I'm pre it's going to be a big event, and I'm certain they're going to show us uh, the mighty Leroy. I sure hope so. Please, God. Uh, the Beast. I can't wait to play him. Um, but uh, they don't want the finals to be... Oh, look, half... Half a roster, oh sorry, half uh, players playing Akuma. It's, it, it wouldn't be a good look, you know, for the, five, the world championships of Tekken. So they are throwing in this patch very shortly after releasing season three. So now we are going to cut off Akuma's legs so that he's not over dramatically overrepresented at the finals. And now the question is, of course, how will they nerf Akuma? And judging by Murray's tweet here it's multiple characters so i'm i'm thinking they're probably going to reverse some changes they made to lee as well because uh, when the character is that difficult and flawed i don't really see why they would nerf him and like his acid rain one free 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 you know that really cool looking move jab into triple machine gun kick that's a what triple just frame no no two just frames yeah i think it's two of them uh, very hard to do, but it was a 50 damage if you got a follow-up place and kick. It was a 50 damage 10 frame punish. Uh, so a few people in the world could do that consistently. And it's not like Lee had <laughs> massive stuff going for him, yet they removed that. So I'm certain Lee players can probably rejoice and they're probably going to get a buff there. Uh, but Akuma, what can we do about him? He has a lot of dumb stuff, like his 10 frame launcher with meter. You, you'll notice that all of his really crazy stuff involves meter. If he has a bar, his jab turns into a launcher. Yes, a 10 frame launcher. He can do uh, down one, two. You know, Geese got his counter hit dick jab into combo removed, yet Akuma retains his. That's kind of weird. Uh, so he has down one, two, counter hit into combo. 
he can do. But most controversial, I think, is, and this is a part where Pakistani players just immediately, when the game dropped, said, that's broken. When everyone else was like, no, no. So yeah, d down to uh, 12 frame uh, special mid into Hadouk and FADC. Uh, you've seen this a million times. It's pretty much the backbone of his death combo. Even we, you, you can do a standing two, that's 15 frames into Hado, FADC, standing two, that's much harder to do. Three frames uh, harder in terms of leniency. I don't know if you got it, if it has to be frame perfect, but if you removed the down to Hado, uh, that would be a game changer, an absolute game changer for Akuma. But I feel like you don't even have to do all of this. You can just uh, have justice, you know, have its course, you know, introduce some justice into the balancing. Why has Geese one, two, three, I think it's three times, or is it four? I think it's three. Three times he's had his meter gain reduced. Yay! And let's face it, he, he was really stupid, although I don't like what they did to him in season three. He had to be nerfed, definitely. Um, Akuma has never seen his meter gain reduced. And if you just reduce his meter gain quite substantially, all of those issues are gone. Because then, sure, he can, he can still do down to Hado, he can do a 10 frame launcher, counter it down one two. But if he can do it very rarely, then I don't really see the problem. Uh, but that's my opinion, of course. I know everyone has uh, their, their own here. But I feel like if you remove all of that stuff, I feel like... Mm, th that, those, that stuff really sets him apart. Um, but yeah, you, opinions are like assholes, I guess. We all got one, except for me. I don't have an asshole. <laughs> I, I'm so pure and clean. I'm like, you fil filthy fucks. And that was a joke. I love you all. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. What, what do you guys think? Do you feel like uh, Akuma should have all of those tools removed? Or can we just reduce the meter gain and call it a day? But uh, it's, all, it's, it's cool that we're getting a balance patch. Uh, I wonder what, the, what other characters they're going to touch, but <laughs> touch. Uh, but I know it's going to be uh, Akuma, maybe Lee, uh, maybe Eliza, maybe Kuma. There were a couple of characters that were hit a bit hard. Uh, but when, when it comes to bombs, <laughs> I'm pretty certain Dragonovs, while standing 1 free, ain't gonna be a wall bounce anymore because that, <laughs> that's just. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's just preposterous. Completely broken. So, any low in the game, if your back is towards the wall, he'll launch you if he blocks it. Like, come on. How is that balanced in any way? But uh, yeah, so um, that is what I wanted to talk about in this video. So upcoming balance patch. Uh, Bandai Namco don't want a million Akumas at the World Championships of Tekken, the finals. Like, it's a bad look for the game. Doesn't look very balanced. At the Takra Cup in... Was it in Pakistan? So, sorry if I'm off here. But it was in the region, I think. Uh, six Akumas in the top eight. It's just not a good look. It's even worse than... Uh, uh, I was going to say Te Tekken 6 Evo Bob. There were four Bobs, I think. But then, of course, uh, Evo 2019 Las Vegas, where I was, awesome tournament, you had four Steves in the top eight. And I think he was arguably the greatest character in season two. I think he even tops Akuma. But that's just my opinion, of course. Uh, I'm not gonna bore you to death anymore. Uh, but yeah, um, to me, cool news. Can't wait to see what uh, what the update details are like. But as soon as it drops, I'll try and do a breakdown for you guys. So I hope you all have a lovely day and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.